Hello, truth seekers. I'm outside. It's so beautiful out today that I thought I would change up the scenery. And I wanted to come to you and talk about how much I am at war, war with my body right now. And I'm at war because I want to master it. It's mastered me my entire life. And I am on this spiritual journey with God. And I know that this is one of the last things that I've got a root out of my life, my body and its urges and it's ruling me. So here's what I'm kind of talking about here and sorry for the wind. Um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I put out a video on predominant fault. It's pride, vanity or sensuality. And mine is sensuality because I've always sought pleasure in drugs and food and alcohol in pornography, in hours and hours of mindless TV, social media, addicted to my phone. I mean, anything to entertain me. And then tucked in with the sensuality in that regard is being comfortable and taking the easy way out. So when I used to think about exercise, I thought about it as punishment because I did it for vanity. I did it so that this world would like me and think I was attractive and think I was successful because my body was in shape. I punished myself through exercise, but that is not how I am approaching these next few things, my war with my body. If you recall, St. John of the Cross said that there are three things, I mean, this is not just St. John of the Cross, this is, you know, lots of people um, in general here. Um, the world, the flesh, and Satan keep us away from God. And right now I am at war with my body. And St. John of the Cross said that the body is the most tenacious. And if I think about it, yeah, that is exactly the case for me. I have fought my body my entire life and I am done. So I am calling on God throughout this next week. I'm starting Monday. That is, I send this out on a Monday morning, five o'clock central time. So I am starting today when you see this, I'm scheduling in workouts, I'm scheduling in healthier eating and I'm scheduling in, you know, my prayer time, which I've never really had a problem with. That's always been something that well, I shouldn't say always. That recently has not been a problem. I believe God has got me out of this, you know, fighting through prayer. I don't like prayer. I look forward to prayer. I get drawn to prayer. Um, I'm able to control my mind and I'm praying even when I don't want to pray. So that's the big deal. You should be praying for your fulfillment of your religious obligation and your love of God to be just. We're called to be saints. We are called to spend time and love God. It's a decision and you just have to do it. So I did put back into this uh, email and in the YouTube description, two free downloads, one to help you because maybe you're not there with mental prayer and Christian meditation. And that's cool. I wasn't either. I mean, I didn't know how to pray at all in the beginning. And so the second uh, download is about mastering your mind in prayer and why we must concentrate, fight our distractions, and pray every single day because we won't be able to stop sinning unless we do. That's crazy. That's St. Alphonsus Liguori saying that. And St. Teresa of Avila said that when you practice mental prayer every single day, Satan knows that he's lost your soul. It's worth it, people, and we should all practice and strive to pray every day and throughout the day. So this is what I'm talking about. Maybe you want to join me. Maybe you're like having a tough time, you know, putting your phone down. Maybe you're addicted to technology. Maybe you're a workaholic. Maybe you are a Netflix addict, right? You can't stop watching the Netflix shows or pornography, or maybe you're struggling with alcohol and drugs right now or overeating for that matter. We should all be in a healthy weight because our bodies are bought at a great price and they're not ours. They're God's, they're the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm approaching this as a step toward my own development spiritually. There are three basic aspects of your spiritual life. Prayer, 
uh, what's the spiritual reading and for those of you who don't know how to pray or don't know what to do that's where the spiritual reading comes in don't be ignorant go forward and find out what do you have to do and by the way in that mental your mind uh, mental your mind master your mind in pr mental prayer document at the back the last page has links all over the place to help you with resources for that and last but not least it is rooting out your sin your predominant sin and getting vice out of your life and building up your virtue and that's where I'm at and that requires for me bodily mortification which by the way every single day we should be mortifying our body three times in some way back I don't know a while ago I want to say it was probably in the summer last year um, I was kneeling on my hands I would fold my hands underneath my knees and I would kneel on them on the you know carpet it wasn't very comfortable but I would pray my three Hail Marys sometimes I would pray seven for Our Lady's Our Lady of Sorrows and then I was like ah you know and I'm like all right time to pray I mean it's really fun to master the body instead of letting it master you so every little time I don't want to get get up and work out or I don't want to put that bottle of wine away or I don't want to do something it could even be the dishes making dinner whatever I am going to offer it to God as a sacrifice I'm gonna take the lead of st. Therese and use the little things to love God offer it up as redemptive suffering Offer it for your spouse, your kids, your family and friends who have not yet found the faith. Make it count, make it work, right? Make it be useful, don't waste it. Who wants to join me in this? Put some comments on what you have to work on and let's pray for each other through this and let's pray each day through the temptations. Let's not forget to deliver Satan away because he's gonna this is not just a vanity call for me. This is not just me to lose weight, to fit into my clothes, and to not be winded when I walk up the stairs. This is a spiritual step in mastering my lower faculties, which we must do. This is where most of our fleshful sins reside. So Satan ain't gonna like it, and he's gonna put up every block along the way. So I'm gonna call him out. Every, that's why this is war. <laughs> This is war with the body and with Satan right now. And I'm going to deliver the, the temptations and the laziness and the, and the gluttony, you know, like I'm just going to, the physical sloth, all of that. I'm going to say in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the spirit of laziness, temptation, sloth. And I command you to go to the foot of the cross for Jesus to pour his precious blood on you and to receive your sentence. And then come, Father, through the name of Jesus Christ, please fill me with your blessing. Fill me with your love, your hope, your grace, because you will give me the grace to fight, to fight the war, the spiritual battle every day, and to master my body. Master your mind, master your body, master your spirit, master your soul. That's what it's all about, my friends. Join me this week. Let's do this together. Put some comments. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to YouTube. Hit the little bell that's to the right-hand side of the red subscribe so that you'll be notified. I cannot wait to come live because I'm going to start talking about my spiritual experiences, my supernatural experiences, my relationship with God and how it's changed, my spiritual attacks on the evil side of the house so that you guys can ask me questions. It's so difficult to kind of come to you as in this one way form. So download all of the beautiful free gifts and I will come to you next week. So have a blessed and inspired week. I will talk to you in a week from today and I will keep you my prayers. Take care. Bye-bye.